Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Connecticut Paid Leave Spotlight. My name is Courtney Cronin. I'm the project manager for Connecticut Paid Leave IT. In this video, we will do a walkthrough demonstration on how to register your third party administrator account. The primary audience for this presentation are third party administrators for payroll services supporting Connecticut Paid Leave covered employers. In this presentation, we'll refer to third-party administrators as TPAs. Today, we will review items you will need to prepare to register, entering in your contact information, connecting your existing CTDACOV account to your Connecticut Paid Leave Business account. Please note, if you have not set up a Connecticut.gov account, you will need to do that before you can complete your TPA registration. We'll also cover adding additional users to your account. As a reminder, if you are both an employer with Connecticut workers and a TPA, you'll need to complete your employer registration before registering as a TPA. To get started, you'll want to visit ctpaidleave.org. Once on the website, you'll want to click on the sign in button in the upper right hand corner. And here you will enter in your ct.gov account information. You will be required to enter in a verification code. And once verified, it will bring you back to the homepage of the Connecticut Paid Leave website. From here, you will see your name in the upper right hand corner, indicating that you are successfully signed in and you'll wanna click on the register your business option. It's going to ask you what type of business do you have? And we're gonna click on, I'm a third party administrator. On here, it will give you some steps on what you need to prepare for registration. To register as a TPA, we are going to need the federal EIN number. There are also step-by-step -step instructions on this page for how to complete this registration. Once you're ready to get started, we're going to click on the register your business option. And this may take a moment to load. And here we'll be on step one of the registration flow. Your name will already be entered in here and your address may be as well if you have previously registered a business. You'll want to confirm that your address is correct as well as the phone number. And then you're going to select the business I'm registering is a third party payroll company. You'll hit the next button. And here we're going to enter in the federal EIN number. You will need to enter in the dash. Once entered, hit next. And now on step two, we're going to enter in our business information. I'm going to enter the business name. If the DBA is different, you can enter that in here and then enter in the business address. If your mailing address is different, you can enter that in or you can select no. And if you have your state tax ID, you can enter that in here, the Connecticut Secretary of State business ID, as well as the Department of Labor registration number. If there's an additional business email address or phone number you would like on the account, you can add those as well. And then we'll hit next. Step three, you're gonna acknowledge that you are a third party administrator. And hit next. And on step four, you can add any additional users to have access to the account. They will be sent an email invite to create their own credentials and then they can access this account. You can also add users later on within my account. And step five is gonna be reviewing your information. If anything needs to be changed, you can hit the previous step button or you can hit next to submit your registration. 
Once you have completed it, you will get a thank you for registering acknowledgement. From here, you can either navigate to my account or you can complete another business registration. And on here, you will see the recently registered business, as well as any other businesses that you have previously registered. You can click into the business that you just registered to verify the information. And this may take a moment to load. On this page, you will see the account info listed. If you need to make any updates to that, you can by clicking on the pencils next to the fields. You will also see the contacts tab. So if you want to add any other users to have access to this account, you can do so here by clicking on add user and entering in their information. Again, this will send them an email invite to create their own credentials to have access. There's also an inquiries tab. If you need to reach out to Connecticut Paid Leave, you can click on the new option and submit a contact us form. And that concludes our demonstration on walking through how to register as a third party administrator. Thank you. For any more information, visit our website at ctpaidleave.org.